national security and terror expert Bridget Gabriel. Also president of Act for America joins me now. Bridget, what does this mean for the investigation? It sounds like they have somebody there who is giving them inside information on exactly what happened. Uh, exactly, and this shows a pattern here of radicalization, and it makes us realize uh, if he became radicalized two years ago, how come he was not on the FBI's radar? Uh, uh, we are monitoring supposedly those radicalized. We are monitoring supposedly ISIS operators uh, in the homeland. So how can somebody living in California have terror ties, have become radicalized, communicate on an Internet chat room with a lady in Pakistan and talk about jihad and martyrdom, yet not be at least monitored? under surveillance. Uh, this is a teachable moment so we can see the loopholes we have in our system so we can close them down and become more effective in protecting our security. Well, Bridget, you make a very good point and raise a very good question. Why didn't we know about them? Uh, and how could this go on for months and months and months? If, since 2012, uh, this was going on with this family. We knew nothing about it. Now, new reports of FBI agents who are uncovering disturbing items that were inside the car of Farouk's mom, including shooting targets, GoPro packaging, a hammer, and vice scripts. What does this tell you? Are other relatives being scrutinized here? Uh, well, of course we have to look at the other relatives, and especially the mother. I mean, she lived with them in the same house. And you've seen the apartment. We all have seen the apartment. Very small. And in Middle Eastern communities, uh, families are very close. They don't hide secrets mm -hmm. from each other. They share money. They share bank accounts. Uh, there are no secrets in small Middle Eastern families. It's a very tight culture. Uh, so the mother knew something. And also we have to, re to understand their background. Remember, in the Islamic world, and especially in the, pa the Palestinians have perfected this, where mothers became very proud and very honored when their sons become uh, suicide bombers or martyrs. Actually, in the Palestinian territories, mothers used to record or be in the video of their son, uh, his last video before he blows himself up. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of the first uh, elected officials in the Hamas government was a mother whose son blew himself up. She was in the video oh, with him oh. before he died, and she, she became a hero. I oh, mean, she, they called her the mother of the resistance, well, and that's well, what she won. So if, if the family knew about this, I want you to hear what the family attorney said about the mom, the mother at last Friday's presser. Listen to this. Um, stayed to herself. I think she stayed upstairs, and, and so she would have been separate and not really known much about what was taking place in the rest of the house. Is that believable to you? Do you think that's possible that the mother wouldn't have known what was going on? Of course she would have known what's going on. I mean, she stayed upstairs and kept to herself. What, she didn't go down to the kitchen? She didn't take the garbage out and went through the garage and saw something? Uh, she didn't see uh, the son and daughter-in-law dress up in, um, in, in military gear? Of course she knew something. A a and, uh, again, we need to see more patriotism on the part of the Muslim community, uh, much more patriotism than terrorism. And what we are seeing right now is organizations like CARE, the Council of American Islamic Relations, immediately come out with a press release trying to basically play the victim, saying, oh, they had nothing to do with it. Uh, an employee made fun of his beard. That's why he did that. And as more information comes out, we are realizing that not only that they were determined to commit a terrorist attack, both husband and wife, the mother knew what was going on in the house, obviously seeing material around the house, including in her car. And obviously there are other family members well, who bought rifles, gave them rifles, etc. Well, and, and you have to think that she saw what was in her car all along. It's a fascinating conversation. Bridget Gabriel, national security and terror yes. expert, thanks for joining us tonight.